Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here and you're watching The Nurse Photographer. What's up nurses? Kamusta ang lahat? To those following my journey, I started working in a BPO company as a utilization review nurse. So if you're also interested in working in a BPO company, um, you can use these websites, the um, Indeed, Glassdoor, Job Street, Monster, and LinkedIn. By the way, I'm not affiliated with those, pero you can see the job listings in those websites. Um, also, look, I have a new mic. Um, it is the HyperX Solocast, but I'm not using this right now because I don't have the right cord to plug it to my camera. So like right now, I'm using this shotgun mic by Boya. It's a vlogging uh, mic, but right now, I'm using it for, for this. Okay, so anyway, um, before I share tips on how to answer the interview questions for the utilization review position, case management case management position. Let's talk about the salary first. So usually it would depend on the company and their clients sa US. And if you search sa mga website at sinabi ko, it would range around 50 to 70,000 and some would also go high as 80,000 yung basic but always remember that the higher the basic, the higher the taxes. Okay, and also that fifty to seventy thousand range, um, excluding pa yung allowances mo don and incentives. So plus 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 pa talaga yon, no? Um, I would talk about more about the salary and incentives or benefits pa no, sa ibang videos because I want to focus this video sa interview questions. Okay. So as we all know that one of the hardest part in finding. A new job is the interview. Okay, it's the most excruciating part. Um, there is a um two job interviews lang usually dito sa BPOs for USRNs. I don't know sa ibang um accounts sa ibang trabaho, but yeah, we're gonna focus on USRN jobs. And usually it is only the initial and final interview. And some might even require tests, but usually wala na talaga no. Dalawalan talaga. So, um, I'm here to um, help you answer those questions and hopefully makapasarin kayo sa mga job interviews nyo for these um, BPO USRN jobs. By the way, what I'm going to share is based from my experience from applying to different no, um, BPO companies here in the Philippines. And um, the questions may vary from company to company. Alam naman natin yon, but what I'm going to share is the usual questions that most of them will ask. Okay, so I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Umpisahan na natin. Usually, the interviews will be done through online and phone call. So usually, pag online via Zoom or Microsoft Team, depende on sa company kung anong ginagamit nila. And then, so basically, let's start with the initial interview. Sa initial interview, um, they would usually just ask, no? Um, for your credentials, um, yung USRN license mo and PHRN license, kung valid ba yon and when is the expiration date. And also, they are also interested to know what state you passed your NCLEX. Because for example, one company, sabi natin, company A, will um, only cater nurses from New Mexico or Illinois. And then, if you apply sa kanila, um, from Texas ka, sabihin natin, they will um, shoulder the endorsement from Texas to um, New Mexico at Illinois. No? So, depende rin talaga. Pero wala namang problema doon kasi they will shoulder the expenses. Also, they are interested in knowing the expiration date because if it's expired, they will shoulder the cost of the renewal of your license and the CE units. So, win-win situation din yun. Nakuha ka nila and that in your may license mo. All right. They would also ask for your um, nursing experience um, and also it's an advantage if you have a experience in the BPO company at least six months but not necessarily because in the um, in the company where I'm working al parang dalawa lang kaming may experience sa BPO, BPO and then the rest hospital na talaga. No? Um, some accounts then no, I would prefer like one to two years of bedside OR or ER experience or kahit mix, mix, mix lang yon. And again, advantage pag meron kang BPO experience. If, for example, you don't meet the requirements, the number of years in a hospital, wag ka mag-alala kasi they will usually put you or assign you in accounts that don't need 
um, MedSat experience. So that's for the initial interview and then let's start with the final interview. Ito na yung kakabahan ka talaga kasi whew, seryoso na ito na yun. Okay, tara. Okay, for the final interview, these are usually the questions that they will ask. Okay, this one and another more, more questions pa here. Okay, so let's um, discuss them one by one. So usually, um, the first question they will ask you is, tell me something about yourself. So ito, um, just be yourself, no? Um, also, it would help if you um, make a script na to answer this para lang you don't get caught off guard, no? You know what you will say. And one of the advantages of having a online interview is you can have your um, laptop in front of you and then you can just read no with feelings kasi dapat hindi yung parang script na nagbabasa ka no with feelings para naman natural yung dating ng sagot mo so first off no when they ask you first is kunyari tinanong ka like tell me something about yourself pasalamatan mo muna yung tao na interview mo so like first sir I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to be interviewed for this nursing position I finished nursing back in tut 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 in itong school and then after a year I was able to practice nursing in this government hospital it was a good experience to um establish my basic nursing knowledge and then after a year my contract expired I worked in a BPO named ganyan ganyan for 6 months and then I studied for culinary arts or photography yun no ituloy tuloy mo na yun ikaw na bahala doon and then um let's go to the sec- to the next um question no pwede kasing yung approach sa Manila is tell me something about yourself that is not included in your resume so like sabihin natin um, you're gonna answer this as a someone coming from a siguro family of doctors or mga medtech or nurses. So pwede mo sabihin siguro no parang um again, um, papasalamatan mo muna like first sir, I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to um be interviewed for this nursing position. Um, I came from a family of nurses. I live with my sister, siguro, no, or grandmother or parents. And I believe that um, learning does not stop in school. That is why I have a lot of books here in my room. And I kept on reading a lot of books to improve myself. And I also like to learn new skills from time to time. That is why I learned or enrolled myself in culinary arts or photography. So from that, at least I'm giving you an idea lang, no? Um, dun mo na yun, eh. Uh, dudugtungan mo na lang um, na swak sa buhay mo, sa storya ng buhay mo. So um, sana hindi nyo fake to kasi just, para saan just be yourself, no? Um, walang mali dito. Ayan, no? Walang mali dito. And then another question, the next question is, why did you leave your last job? No, why did you leave your um, hospital experience? Diba? No, parang the usual yun eh. Tatanong mo eh. Um, pwedeng ang approach mo dito kung sakaling um, ikaw yung nag-aalaga sa um, family member mo. So, pwede mong sabihin na, um, like, I had to take care of my. Um, Lola or Lolo because ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. My siblings are already in the States. No, I'm the only family member here in our house na pwede mag-alaga sa kanya during that time. That's why I was forced to leave my um, previous job. Pero sabi mo din na ayaw din talaga, no? Kung ano man, no? And another approach for this question is um, you can say that um, no, parang you like your job in the hospital but um, I don't think that it's safe to practice nursing anymore kasi ang daming umalis sa hospital namin tas nadoble yung um, number of patients mo pwedeng ganun eh no? pero syempre kung ano yung sasabihin mo dapat kaya mo yung dalhin okay so custom din talaga to eh, no? depende sa um Rason mo, just don't be negative, no? Na parang, ay, ang pangit doon, ayoko doon kasi ganyan, no? Nakaawi ko yung supervisor, kaya umalis na ako mali yun, no? Don't say those words. Okay, next question. Um, ito, karamihan talaga tinatarong to, no? Parang, why should we hire you or what can you contribute to us? So, ito, parang isipin mo lang, no? Yung mga advantages mo 
sa buhay, masipag ka ba, no? Saan ka magaling sa time management mo? No, matyaga ka ba, no? mag ka ba kahit kailangan, kahit ayaw mo, no? <laughs> um, anyway, you can Google this. Sobrang daming sagot para dito. Pero, um, just to give you guys an idea, siguro pwede mo siyang sagutin ng ganito, eh. No, parang, I will be thorough in my approach and assessment with the documents that or files that I will work on and I am able to follow the ano, mga company rules, di ba? Yung mga rules and regulations of the company. And sabihin mo, no, na gusto mo rin i-develop yung sarili mo, continually learn para makapag-contribute um, ka sa company. So from there, I think pwede mo nang digtungan yon sa mga gusto mo, um, kayang-kaya mo na yon. Okay, sorry ah, hindi ko talaga sinasabi yung lahat-lahat kasi I think, talaga bawat question is dapat magswak sa yon no sa um, yung personality mo rin no yung attitude mo as a person so magdedepende din talaga siya doon so parang itong mga sinasagot ko is just to help you guys give you guys an at least no um, an idea lang on how to answer them um, the next question is what is your weakness so ito like for sa akin kasi um ito totoo to no um ang weakness ko is public speaking so it doesn't matter if it's a group of 5 or 10 people no I still get uncomfortable and to overcome this I started a YouTube channel and a video podcast about ganyan 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 and up to now I'm up to now I'm still developing and improving myself in public speaking skills so ayon yun na sagot ko Kaya nga ako na ganito, no? Para makatulong sa pag-English ko. Kasi sobrang, alam nyo, before nag-apply ako sa Converges ata yun, tapos sobrang sama na English ko. Sabi sa akin, mag-aral ka muna ng English bago ka namin kunin. So, ganun talaga, eh, no? Siguro hindi ako para, para doon ng panahon na yun. Kaya, ayan, so, <laughs> hindi ako napunta doon. No, way back pa yun, no? Um, bago graduate pa ako ng college. So, ito, isang question na naman. Um, why go back to work in a UR or BPO company? Um, pwede mong sabihin kasi na parang gusto mo rin yung trabaho mo before pero naniniwala ka na mas maganding opportunity mo dito since siguro ikaw no, wala ka namang planong umalis ng Pilipinas kasi kung titignan mo no, kung wala kang planong umalis ng Pilipinas mas maganda talaga yung opportunity sa USRN dito sa Pilipinas pero pag nasa States ka na no, parang may USRN May ganito din, no? may utilization review doon, pero yung more on opportunities is sa hospital talaga. No? Um, may nakausap ako before, no? ah, kagabi actually, ng mga nurses doon, na actually para nag sila sa Philippines, no? may inatid lang party. Tapos sinabi nila sa akin yun, no? nag-work sila as case management sa states. No? Yun yung mga first work nila, and then nag-jump sila sa um, hospital. Kasi sabi nila, hindi ka daw makakapag-grow masyado sa case management pag sa US okay sa US yon kasi yung opportunities nga is more on sa hospital sa US so okay so balik na tayo sa interview question sorry na layo na so pwede mong isagot dito is um okay so the reason why I work in the hospital is because I want to develop my basic nursing skills no I want to uh, wala uh, gagamitin mo lang yung pinag-aralan mo sa school pero naniniwala ka na um, mas maganda yung opportunity mo in a BPO industry and pwede mo sabihin siguro na um, right now um, ayaw ka muna mag bedside nursing no I, you want to explore no other fields in the BPO industry so ganun no again dudugtuan mo na lang yun kung anong gusto mong um, sagot okay um, next question is how do you handle stress ayan sobrang daming nagtatanong nito actually hindi lang naman talaga sa BPO no kundi sa mga hospital din tinatanong to so pwede mong sabihin kasi kung tatanong mo yung sarili mo paano ba hinahadal yung stress kung ako siguro magbabasa ako ng libro magdadasal ako magraran ako no before may liga ako magran na marathon no pero ngayon hindi na masyado no um, so pwede mong approach dito is okay sir I handle stress in a couple of ways first is I stop whatever I'm doing I pray and then second is I exercise, no, because running helps me um, focus and prioritize on the things that I need to finish, no, or to um yeah to finish. And um, lastly, um you can add this, no, I spend time with my family, I spend time with my friends, or I spend time with my lovely wife. 
again, make a script, no, dapat tuloy-tuloy lang yung pagsalita nyo with feelings. Okay, with feelings yun lagi. Okay, next question is one of the hardest questions, no? Um, how do you handle a rude supervisor? So for me, I think this is one of the, again, the hardest questions to answer. I think you will have to research on this. Okay, so pwedeng approach mo dito is, um, I believe that, um, or I think that each of us humans are fighting a battle that we only know. Um, and I always think that the per- that person or supervisor might have problems. So I always try to be understanding Um if there's still a problem or a conflict, I would approach I would approach that person and um, ask him or her if I have done or said anything that have offended that person and think of a solution no, to make that person feel better. So that is my idea on how to answer that question. Again, parang wala tayong sisihin dito, no? Kung may mali, sisihin mo na yung sarili mo. Think of a solution, no? Um, change starts with yourself. Okay, next question is why do you want to work here? No, sa company na pinagtrabaho, uh, na pinag-applyan mo. So like, um, importante dito is make a research on that company, no? Pwede mong basahin yung mga mission vision nila and then i-align mo yung answer mo, no? Dito sa, i-align mo yung answer mo sa mga mission and vision nila. Um, pwede mo rin sabihin na I did my research no on companies providing opportunities sa USRN and what I found out that um, people who are working sa BPO Industries, itong company nyo, it's one of their first choice and I think that itong company will provide me the best opportunities sa USRN dito sa Pilipinas. Oh. So, also, ako, alam nyo, shinare ko to na parang nakita ko kasi yung actually may kaibigan ako na nag-work dyan sa company nyo. Siyempre, in English. And then, sinabi ko lang, no, um, she told me about the company and naging sobrang interesado ako. No? Tapos, kinuwento ko sa kanya na may mga nag-vlog about your company and then they were having fun so that really got me interested in applying to this company no alam kong medyo hindi na siya siguro professional pero bro yun yung experience ko eh no so that's what i'm going to share okay next question is what are the best qualities of an employee no pwedeng tanong sa yon or pwedeng hindi medyo bihira na to no parang one out of three lang ata or one out of four yung nagtanong sa akin ito na company so parang Ang magandang sagot dito for me is pwede mo sabihin na tingin mo ito yung mga best qualities ng isang employee, no? And then dugtungan mo, no? My best qualities is I think that I'm able to adapt, no? I'm able to adapt sa kahit anong trabaho na ibigay sa akin. I'm eager to learn, no? And I want to progress my career professionally. Uh, yun yung mga first question, no? Or first sentences ng mga kung para sa akin paano sagutin yung mga yon and pwede mo rin pala dugtungan ng parang hindi ka nahihiya no i'm not shy to ask for help or communicate with other people professionally especially pagtungkol na sa mga sensitive information no ng mga client ganyan kasi syempre hindi pwedeng magkakamali tayo eh no so pwedeng sabi mo rin yun no um just be frank no na you are na okay lang sa'yo na magtanong-tanong. Kasi, ewan ko ba, ba't yung iba parang nahihiya sila magtanong kasi iisipin, hindi nila alam. So, huwag tayong ganun. Ayun, syempre, patients, um, safety, ang priority natin. So, um, yung information ng mga client, yung priority natin dito sa um, trabaho na to. Okay, another question is, what do you know about our company or what do you know about our institution? So again, dito papasok yung part na nag-research ka tungkol sa company nila. Hindi sa akin tinanong to, kaya hindi ko to sasagutin sa inyo. Okay. <laughs> okay, next question is, what's your plan in the next five years? Ito, medyo, um, medyo 50-50 ka dito kung ide-declare mo ba na magtatrabaho ka sa States or hindi. Hindi ko alam kung anong discard mo sa buhay. Um, pwede kasi hindi ka talaga, wala ka pa talagang employer. So, sasabi mo, syempre, you, you, you just want to be honest, no? Na, wala ka pong plan pumunta states, no? Um, you just want to take advantage of your USRN license. So, in the next five years, no, I plan to invest in in further studies no i want to um 
you're interested to uh, work with a company um, you're interested to um, become a USRN manager or a trainer no in the next five years so parang ganun eh no um ang magandang question talaga dito is just stay with the company no doon yung growth natin no sa company kung saan tayo mag apply but if you're like me na pupuntang states ako hindi ko to pinago sa mga um, um company na pinag-applyan ko Sinabi ko talaga no na currently I have an employer that and I was filed under sabi natin regular or premium processing and then um hopefully no in soon I I will migrate to the states in the next 5 years but if there are delays I just plan again ibabalik natin dun sa unang sagot I just plan on staying with the company hopefully to be a nurse educator dito no tulungan yung mga bagong recruit na nurses para sa trabaho nila dito sa company nyo. So, ganun lang. Para sa akin, just be frank, kung meron kang employer or wala, kasi sa akin, sinabi ko to lahat sa mga manager na nakausap ko, and then, siguro, well, sinabi lang nila, oh, that's good, no, Daniel? And, um, it's good na magiging part ka ng company namin. Mabait sila, eh, no? Hindi sila parang red flag na, ay, aalis to, huwag na natin kunin to. Sa akin, hindi ko naranasan yon kasi lahat, pasado ko. Okay, eto um bonus question lang din. Um another question lang no na usually tinatanong to sa mga BPO is sabihin natin, ginito talaga yung pagtanong ah. Um what if um while working in this company and another company offers a bigger offer, would you take that offer? Yan, 'di ba? Parang oh my gosh, I'm caught off guard. Hindi pwedeng ganoon. Kaya nga tayo meron nito eh para magtulungan lang tayo. So like para sa akin kasi mas importante yung tropahan eh. Kasi alam mo yun, yung, like pera nandyan lang yan lagi. Yung mga tropa-tropa natin, yung true friends, um, hindi siya mawawala or mahirap palitan yung mga yun. No? Mas madaling magtrabaho sa kumpanya or sa hospital na mababait lahat ng tao at hindi ganun kataas yung sweldo kaysa magtrabaho ka sa isang company company or um, hospital tapos oh my god sobrang toxic na mga katrabaho diba? sino bang may gusto? man parang kada pasok mo na lang dun, parang oh my gosh katrabaho ko na naman si ano si ganyan diba? Uh, kahit na ganito yung pay katrabaho ko na naman si ganun ako diba? ang hirap nun so for me no how I answered this was um, sinabi ko lang dun, no, na if I start working there um, I will have a new circle of friends and I will feel um, comfortable having them around. I will value camaraderie and friendship more than paper or money. So, that's how I answered it. And then, um, so basically, you just get the idea na hindi mo kukunin yung offer na yun kasi nga, mas importante yung, yung pagsasama nyo ng mga katrabaho nyo. And for me nga, based from my experience, okay talaga ako doon na kahit hindi naman ganun kalaki yung difference tingin ko eh. So, dito na ako sa mga tao na may rapport ka na, di ba? May relationship ka na, no? Kasi, solid na kayo eh. Pagpapalit mo ba yun sa pera sa kanila? Hindi hmm, siguro. So, um, there you go guys. Yun ang masyashare ko mga interview questions sa inyo. Pasensya na ako medyo hindi ganun ka-professional yung dating. Pero I think, no, um, Para sa akin lang talaga, just be yourself, just be honest, honest to goodness, diba? Siyempre, ganun tayo eh. Um, magiging okay ang lahat. Isipin mo kung hindi ka natanggap sa isang company na yon, okay lang. Kasi may kailangan ka palang makilala sa kabilang company. Alam nyo guys, ako, um, nag-apply ako sa company na ganito, na A, wala nga ibig sabihin yung A ah, and then ito si B. No? Si A sobrang lapit sa bahay ko. Natanggap din ako dun, pero sobrang tagal nila mag-process. Itong si B, Ang bilis sila mag-process pero oh my god sobrang lain at sa bahay ko. Pero dahil work from home naman sila, it doesn't matter. So I was ano din no, I was um I was blessed no na naka, natanggap ako kay Company B kasi pare sa kay Company B, yung mga, may mga Company A na lumipat kay Company B kasi sobrang toxic daw sa Company A na yon. Okay, so di ba? Um siguro na save din ako no. It was a blessing in disguise. Okay, ayun. So, after all the questions naman, um, they would usually ask you, no, parang, sabi natin parang, oh, so Daniel, do you have any questions? So, importante dito na magtatanong ka rin talaga kasi, number one, it would show that you are interested in applying for that job, no? I mean, seryoso, di ba, kung 
kung ikaw, kung may liligawan ka bang girl or siguro may pinupusuan kang lalaki, ganyan, syempre interesado kang malaman kung saan siya nakatira, ba diba? Anong birthday niya, anong paboritong pagkain na ito, makilig sa tsokolate kasi dadalhin mo ng ganon, ganon. ba diba? Kung wala, kung hindi mo tatanungin yung mga ganon, para hindi ka talaga impro- hindi ka talaga interesado. And second is, syempre, no, parang kung may pinupusuan kang ang tao, oh, hindi mo tinanong saan siya nakatira. Oh, taga south pala, taga north ka taga south pala siya, taga north ka o araw-araw kang pupunta sa south ang hirap ata nun so mabuti na nagtanong ka na rin no? para alam mo na oh, oh my gosh, uh, isang libo yung gas ng V6 ko dun di siguro <laughs> anyway, sorry okay, so joking aside no? um, importante yung magtanong ka rin talaga ng mga questions just to show them that um dagdag na parang seryoso ka dito sa trabaho na to no? um, so one of the questions uh, na importante yung itanong sa kanila is um, pwede mong itanong no may I know the process of onboarding if ever I get hired no if ever I get hired wag mo munang i-assume na na hire ka na agad kasi wala pa talaga no wala pang contract signing so chill chill lang muna tayo no The next question is, itanong mo maganda rin kung may bond ba sa company na to. Kasi dito sa mga BPO na pang USRN, nabasa ko sa iba wala, sa iba meron, sa iba one year. no So iba-iba rin talaga sila. And then the next question is, how long is the orientation going to be? Yung training, two months, ganyan, pero paid kayo. no And then, um, just to keep the conversation um, going, pwede mo rin sabihin na if ever I get accepted, parang what are the things or um, the files that I need to prepare, no? Um, parang, alam mo yan, just to prepare yourself, usually, sasabihin naman ng manager na parang kukontakin ka na HR for that, pero maganda rin yun na itanong kasi syempre may idea sa lanon. And then, para lang, no, straight out after that interview, may expect ka na agad. No? And also, another good question to ask is, since night shift to lahat, or usually, or most of all night shift, kasi may narinig ako na iba na day shift daw ang USRN nila, na parang unicorn job yun, sobrang bihira, pero siguro meron pa rin. Um, itanong mo lang, no, what time is the shift going to be? No? So yung iba parang 9 to 7, yung iba 10 to 6, yung iba 11 to 8. So, I think depende rin yan kung east side, east side or west coast, west side yung client ng BPO company mo sa states. Okay, and then another question is, um, is this going to be a permanent work from home? No, if yes, parang tanong mo, um, how will I be able to receive the computer or the laptop, or a tawag nila dito is yung assets, no? Will I be provided with a different um, internet provider? Because some will give you talaga an internet provider, or yung iba naman parang babayaran na, babayar na lang yung internet mo sa bahay. Okay? And then, sabihin mo, if not, di ba? If not, to, if hindi to permanent work from home, may I know the location of the office in Metro Manila? Kasi, Ba't ko tinatanong yon Kasi nagulat lang ako yung ibang mga kasama ko sa work. Oh my God, parang alalayo pala talaga, no? Um, yung iba galing sa um, galing sa Mindanao, iba taga south talaga, yung iba sobrang way up sa north. So parang scattered din talaga in the nearby provinces or all over the Philippines. No? So, ganun. Okay, so um, again guys, maraming salamat sa panonood. I hope this helps you, no? And acing your utilization review nurse job interview um good luck kayang kaya mo yan um sobrang daming opportunities good luck um i'm happy for you no kung matanggap ka na tuloy mo lang yan and uh, sa mga naghihintay ng mga application nila sa states na nagtatrabaho sa USRN hold on lang tayo let's go okay see you guys in the next video adios